Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing Divinity 2 Original Sin. Original Sin Divinity 2. I don't know, I'm probably getting mixed up. Anyways, so let us get started. Now we're going to. I think I'm going to do a custom character. Are you not? So do a custom elf to start. Let's edit. So let's take off. So I want the pet one, pet pal. What do you... Mystic. Meet your maker. I'm ready. Nice try. Almost got me that time. Nice try. Okay, so we want frustration. Not hail strike. Oh, I can redo the hot bar later. Anyways. So let's get started. It 
it all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of sauce. Flies to honey. The monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. I was shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. So it... it wasn't a dream after all. Okay, Mel, Mel Mouse was in turn. Right, it has been a while since I played this, so I gotta get used to the barons again. Anything in here? No. Uh, let's see. Talk to the sheep. Shaking her fluffy coat, the sheep eyes you balefully, her rectangular eyes like letterboxes to the void. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the shin. Fresh meat. <laughs> nice. Plump. Banded like a chicken's leg, too. That may be so, but look at the flies. Ban <laughs> wisdom. Flies know when a creature will die. And it's around your head they're buzzing, not mine. With two shakes of her stumpy tail, the sheep turns away from you to peruse her hay filled manger. Uh huh. Now I, uh, I could turn you into lunch, you know? I mean, why not? I'll take that. Right. That taking all your food. I gotta drag one of these all the way out. Ooh. 
go to Toya's. All right, oil. Uh, we're gonna equip this for now. You there? Come here. What do you want? Hey, hey, get me out of this cage, and I'll make it worth your while. You in? So. I think I'm gonna play this character. Let's see, should we be cautious? Uh, let's let's demand to know set what he's in for. Set me free, and I'll set you free. A fair trade, I should think. Your guess is as good as mine. Someone screamed loud as a banshee. After that, pure pandemonium. They never even told me what I was accused of. Just dragged me down here. Suit yourself. But we're all in the same boat here, so to speak. I'll await your return. Yeah, you can stay in the cage. We gotta wait. Though I could put it out, it will go out eventually. Let's see, I can put it out. Yep, yep, 90 poison. So, I'm probably. Not the most elegant solution, was it? No, of course not. Solution got dead, though. I'll take that because I might be able to sell that. Anything else I could see in here? That's it. All right. Well, let's head upstairs. And I'm back where I started. Nowhere to go but up. I'm not gonna let the prisoner out. I could. That'd probably be extra loot, but whatever. Question is, where's the way up? Ah, there we go. Trying to, it's like a bit so long since I played this game, I'm trying to remember everything. Yes, leave the tutorial deck. Anything, anything in here that I can uh, produce? Uh, yes, take all. Get out of here. We get in here now. Oh yeah, we don't need a, we don't need a grotesque jaw. Out of here, we'll take that. Do not find me, just looking for uh, any good old loot I can find. Why, you're looking a bit more In chipper. Fact, yes, to it looks time. like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest. And he's the chap in charge of the logs. Alrighty. 
You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. No. You're alive, and you're having a conversation. You are on a ship, of course, but luckily for us both, we're merely sailing the plain old sea. Index fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits, and if you're a particularly good girl, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking only to fade back into your soul, like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. All will, but no result. There you have it. See? The collar's function. It neuters you of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. Uh huh. Gods, there's, there's been a murder here. Behind the Magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore. There's been a murder. A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. Waters is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. Always does. No known associates. They you surprised? You're one of them. You know what sorcerers are capable of. Whoever did this found a way around their collar and killed a man. Small ones this time, thank the gods. We'll find out who did it, one way or another. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. Finn didn't see it like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. I thought as much. Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? Think about it. It's one of you who got killed, not one of us. We want to find who did it and bring them to justice. Who's your real enemy here? You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Uh huh. Damn it. All right, well. Did the murderer take him into this room? Let's go talk to everyone. It was one of them. Oh, there you are. <clears throat> Wife, would you please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. 
How play very well. correct you are, spouse of mine. Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? You presume right. Nope. Trying not to find anything out, either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. You take care, though. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Good luck, Chief. Um, yep, I'll try and uh, remember that. There's nothing else I can make, Your Majesty. Turnips and water are all I was given. All right, so I think we'll leave off here on this one. Unacceptable. And uh, next week we'll start talking to everyone else. Anyways, thank you for joining me. See you guys on the next away. one.